New Year, my beautiful crafty friends. I'm Katya with Lunar Sun Creations. For those of you who don't know me, I create tutorials for interactive photo albums and do some card making and other crafty things on this channel. So if you like all things messy and crafty, then you're in the right place. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever a new video pops up. I hope your new year is going amazingly so far. Um, mine has been blessedly uneventful. My December was so crazy busy that I thought my head was going to spin off, like for real, I, I thought I was going to lose it. <laughs> it was too much. So I'm glad that December, or I'm glad that January has been very calm and serene and nothing exciting has happened, which is exactly what I want. <laughs> I did get a new hat though. I love my new hat. <laughs> All right, so today I have a custom project for you, my first project of 2022, and it is a beautiful interactive baby album. So um, show us the goods, lady, right? You stop talking, show us the goods. I'm gonna show you the goods. <laughs> Let's check out the album. Okay, folks, the first project of 2022. I'm quite proud of this one. I think it looked, turned out really great. The cover is nine, um, nine wide, 11 high, and four, the spine is four wide, four inches. Um, the pages are all, all obviously all just a little bit smaller. They are um, eight, eight by 10, I believe, are the pages. Okay, so I'll just show you the front. So this, comes out here so they can put a photo, a ba their favorite baby photo into the frame there and it's got acetate on the front. And this was a happy accident. Um, uh, I love, I embossed this, but the way I did it, it kind of turned out like a, um, almost like a hammered metal uh, effect and I really like it. So I'm going to try and recreate that and do that in a video, in a future video. Um, and then on the spine I just cut a little piece out of one of the patterned papers and put it on there. The back is just plain. So a simple ribbon closure. Okay, so on the inside cover, so this is for the, uh, when the baby arrives and you're still at the hospital and everything. Opens up to the side. This is gonna be hard to keep in frame, I'll do my best. And um, a chipboard, I cut one of the um, rainbows out and mounted it on a chipboard and backed it as well and put it as kind of like a, a lever almost. And then this opens like this. So I wanted there to be room for both vertical and horizontal photos as well as some journaling space because you never know exactly what photos are going to be the best um, when people are taking them like crazy when there's a new baby. Alright, so the story of how I was born so they can write the whole birth story. I just left the back blank. This is a big on-page pocket. Okay, so that is the inside cover. All right, one month old. So this opens to the side. And this opens down. It says uh, date and height and weight. I did that for most of the months. And then cute and funny things that I can do down here, or you could just do some simple journaling. And then this opens to the top and it's just a simple pop and twist card. And then this whole thing opens to the side and there's an all about me page, um, favorite things people say I look like, my name, all the all those things. And then this super cute little elephant here and then you open these up and they are both floating, um, floating panels, floating mats for photos. So they're the perfect size so I didn't do anything else to them so you could just put a photo here and here and you could also put one in the center and on these as well. They are big enough that you can put them on there as well. Okay and those close back up and then that closes and then that closes. So I'm not sure if anyone recognized that page design 
I've actually used page designs, except for the front and back cover. The front and back cover, um, were just, I just designed on the fly. But, um, inside, the pages one through four are from my Winter Tales tutorial, and pages five and six are from my Dreamland tutorial. So I decided to just use some of my own page designs because I thought they were super cool. And, um, and I'm saving, I have some new page designs in mind, but I'm saving them for a, a, a tutorial that is coming up, I say soon, but I mean, in all honesty, it'll be a couple months. Anyway, moving forward, page two, we're at three months old, <laughs> super cute little elephant. And then up there is room for photos and, or journaling if you prefer. And then the date, height, and all that kind of stuff. And it says percentile. What? Is, I'm not quite sure what that is, but we'll roll with it. Opens down, and then opens to the side. Okay, so does that. And then I've got a cute little star backed on chipboard, and that also goes up. Just simple star paper up there. And then these go to the sides. And then my, all of my firsts, first night of sleep, first smile, first haircut, all the firsts. And then this part also pulls down. And then you've got a hidden pocket in here that you would never know was there. So I've just got one photo mat blank on the back, but um, you can fit quite a bit in there. So some extra photos, or if you had some cards that you wanted to keep, or something like that. So then those close up, and then that closes up, and then that one, and then that one, and that one. This is also kind of an instructional video for the person getting this album because there are a lot of twists and turns, so I want to make sure that you see all the places that you can add photos and journaling. So on page three, this pulls down for some journaling or photos, and then out to the side. This also goes out to the side. Really cool. These, um, this is the family tree on mom's side, family tree on dad's side. Hello, Zuri. Can't have a video without Zuri. <laughs> right, buddy? And then we open it up to this side. And uh, I love, this is one of my favorite images. Um, all of the, I used a bunch of different digital downloads from Etsy. Um, brush art, does, these are the names of the stores where I got them from the Etsy shops. Uh, brush Art Design, A Little Paper Boutique, Dandelionery, Waterhouse Graphics, and Noah's Digitals. Okay, so those are the shops where I got um, all of the digitals. I love to use, you know me, I love to combine collections. So one collect, and also I need a lot of paper. Designs are huge. So you need a lot of paper to cover them. And most digital downloads only have, you know, like maybe like 10 sheets or so. So I need like five of those. <laughs> okay, moving on. All right, so I wanted kind of a waterfall, but in a different way. So this opens up and then both of the sides open up. I just left it blank up there so you can put three vertical photos. And then you've got room for three horizontal photos. And then again, you've got room for three, um, well, I mean three on the inside. You could also put one here if you wanted as well, and one here if you wanted to. And I made it so that the pattern kind of carried on there. And then again, down here, you've got room for a few. You could probably do, I mean, you could do five if you wanted to, actually. And then that goes down, and that goes down like that. Okay, so that all closes up. So that's the first part of page three. It keeps going. So then you open it like this, and now we're at four months old, and these both open to the side, and I left them blank because they're perfect for four by six photos. Journaling up here, photo down here, and then this opens to the side, and you've got a nice big area for photos. Okay. So that is that, and then we move on to the next page. This opens down, and there is a pocket here. Okay, and then once these are open, then this lifts up. 
Okay, and we've got seven, seven months old up there. And then a nice big blank space for photos. And then this opens to the side. And pull out there in the pocket. Okay, and that all closes up like that. And then these are the two page designs that were from Dreamland. So this one goes down like that. And then this also goes down. And then it lifts up. So you pull the whole thing down and then it goes up to form this really super cute. I love the little elephants in, in the collections. They're just so cute. So that goes up and then this whole thing, this whole flap lifts up and some room for some pay, uh, photos and journaling up there. And then this whole thing is one big pocket, like all the way down. So a simple photo mat there. And then this opens up as well. Okay, so we close that, close that, but it's not done. Then we've got a ribbon over here that unties. And this opens to the side. Okay, now we're at nine months old here. And then this is a pocket. I don't have a tag in this one. Okay, so this is an extra pocket that I forgot to put a tag in. So there's some space for some extra photos. And that closes and then it pulls down. And then it's um, one of the rolling waterfalls. Okay, it's a rolling waterfall there. And then the page is closed and now we can tie it back up. Okay, and then on page six, so this moves out, goes out to the side, this goes out to the side, and then one goes up and one goes down, and there's extra journaling. So it creates a whole spread. So you can have six photos and journaling all in this one nice pull out spread. Okay, this whole thing goes to the side and then this opens and then this pops up to a beautiful frame so you can put a photo, slide a photo in there. And then this whole thing goes to the side and then we're at 11 months old. Okay, and then that closes back up just like that. And then on the back cover, a year old, yay. And this pops up like that. This pulls down and it's a little waterfall and I left it mostly blank so you could just use, you know, put, put as many photos in there um, and it didn't get all bulky. So I just put the paper on the very edge there. And then what else does this one do? Oh yes, and then this goes up and then again is a nice big pull out so happy birthday to me how we celebrated who was there all that kind of stuff so it's a big pull out um all about me once again but one year later so now a number of teeth and things you can say and all that kind of stuff so it pulls out like that or like that okay so tons of room for all the birthday photos and all that kind of stuff and then that closes and then that closes and that is everything um i love these page designs and i love um using them with different paper and they just feel completely new again um in the description box below i will put the um, links to the walkthrough of both the Winter Tales and the Dreamland um, albums as well as the links to them in my Etsy shop so that you can see how different an album looks when you just use different papers. There's a couple slight modifications that I did to the pages but for the most part they are the same as in the tutorial. 
All right, awesome. Thank you so much for watching. And again, Happy New Year. And I will see you very soon. Um, I'm going to send this off and then I'm going to start doing some, um, some more cards. I got some new materials that I would really, I'm just itching to use. So um, I'm going to start doing some cards, perhaps some that Valentine's Day cards. Let's get a head start on that maybe. Okay. Uh, love you all. Hope you're doing amazing. Sending you huge hugs and uh, big thank yous. Bye.